Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Tuxan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 5, episode 13 of Arrow called Spectre of the Gun. So we started off with 16 months ago, uh, Renee Wash's wife, who was a drug addict, uh, was off by a dealer in front of their daughter Zoe, who was transferred to foster care, uh, barring Renee from seeing her. He was inspired by the Green Arrow, often dark, and saving Star City that he decided to start his own vigilanteism. And the president, Renee, now works for Quentin Lance as his assistant. And then we find out that an armed man uh, attacked City Hall, offing seven staff members and, wo and wounding several others. Felicity identifies the um, person as James Eldland, a former clerk and a proponent of gun control who lost his family in a shootout months prior. Thea and Quentin encourage Oliver to deal with the situation as the mayor, not the vigilante. Oliver decides to work with the city council towards um, a gun control act. And Renee and Curtis locate Edlund's hideout and find his next target where Oliver confronts Eland as the mayor and dissuades him from offing anyone, convincing him to surrender. Oliver reaches an agreement with the council with Renee's help and then Curtis promises, promises to help Renee get Zoe back legally. Meanwhile, John convinces uh, Dinah to return to normal life and she enlists in the SCPD. Um, so this was a really um, heavy episode because they were talking about like a bunch of stuff that was happening in actual news in 2017, and it's still kind of it's still relevant, but you know, it's, you know, it has its ups and downs. But I really do like the message behind the episode and everything that happened in it. <laughs> so I give this like an A plus episode. It was really good, and from what I remember, it was really enjoyable and. It gave more depth to Renee and not just some hothead who was just being kind of a dumb dumb. There's a reason to why he acts the way he acts. And it's important to understand where some people are coming from because some people just jump to conclusions and don't get to know the person. Um, dive into too much into stuff. But anyway, um, I really enjoyed the episode and that's what I'm doing for this video. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree or disagree about the episode, what do you remember about the episode, um, just let me know down below. I've seen this season, I think, about twice, so anyway, I'll see y'all in my next one, and I hope y'all have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.